And though we should send down the angels unto them, and the dead should speak unto them, and we should gather against them all things in array, they would not believe unless Allah so willed. Howbeit most of them are ignorant. Thus have we appointed unto every prophet an adversary, devils of humankind and jinn who inspire in one another plausible discourse through guile. If thy Lord willed, they would not do so. So leave them alone with their devising, that the hearts of those who believe not in the hereafter may incline thereto, and that they may take pleasure therein, and that they may earn what they are earning. Shall I seek other than Allah for judge when he it is who hath revealed unto you this scripture fully explained? Those unto whom we gave the scripture aforetime know that it is revealed from thy Lord in truth. So be not thou, O Muhammad, of the waverers. Perfected is the word of thy Lord in truth and justice. There is naught that can change his words. He is the hearer, the knower. If thou obeyedst most of those on earth, they would mislead thee far from Allah's way. They follow naught but in opinion, and they do but guess. Lo, thy Lord, he knoweth best who erreth from his way, and he knowest best who are the rightly guided. Eat of that over which the name of Allah hath been mentioned, if ye are believers in his revelations. How should ye not eat of that over which the name of Allah hath been mentioned, when he hath explained unto you that which is forbidden unto you, unless ye are compelled thereto? But lo, many are led astray by their own lusts through ignorance, Lo, thy Lord, he is best aware of the transgressors. Forsake the outwardness of sin and the inwardness thereof. Lo, those who garner sin will be awarded that which they have earned. And eat not of that whereon Allah's name hath not been mentioned, for lo, it is abomination. Lo, the devils do inspire their minions to dispute with you, but if ye obey them, ye will be in truth as idolaters. Is he who was dead, and we have raised him unto life, and set for him a light wherein he walketh among men, as him whose similitude is in utter darkness, whence he cannot emerge? Thus is their conduct made fair seeming for the disbelievers. And thus have we made in every city great ones of its wicked ones, that they should plot therein. They do but plot against themselves, though they perceive not. And when a token cometh unto them, they say, We will not believe till we are given that which Allah's messengers are given. Allah knoweth best with whom to place his message. Humiliation from Allah and heavy punishment will smite the guilty for their scheming. And whomsoever it is Allah's will to guide, he expandeth his bosom unto the surrender. And whomsoever it is his will to send astray, he maketh his bosom close and narrow, as if he were engaged in sheer assent. Thus Allah layeth ignominy upon those who believe not. This is the path of thy Lord, a straight path. We have detailed our revelations for a people who take heed. For them is the abode of peace with their Lord. He will be their protecting friend because of what they used to do. In the day when he will gather them together, he will say, O ye assembly of the jinn, many of humankind did ye seduce, and their adherents among humankind will say, Our Lord, we enjoyed one another, but now we have arrived at the appointed term which thou appointedst for us. He will say, Fire is your home. Abide therein forever, save him whom Allah willeth to deliver. Lo, thy Lord is wise, aware. Thus we let some of the wrongdoers have power over others because of what they are wont to earn. O ye assembly of the jinn and humankind, came there not unto you messengers of your own who recounted unto you my tokens, and warned you of the meeting of this your day, they will say, We testify against ourselves, and the life of the world beguiled them, and they testify against themselves that they were disbelievers. This is because thy Lord destroyeth not the townships arbitrarily, while their people are unconscious of the wrong they do. 
For all, there will be ranks from what they did. Thy Lord is not unaware of what they do. Thy Lord is the Absolute, the Lord of mercy. If he will, he can remove you and can cause what he will to follow after you, even as he raised you from the seed of other folk. Lo, that which ye are promised will surely come to pass, and ye cannot escape. Say, O Muhammad, O my people, work according to your power. Lo, I too am working. Thus ye will come to know for which of us will be the happy sequel. Lo, the wrongdoers will not be successful. They assign unto Allah of the crops and cattle which he created a portion, and they say, This is Allah's, in their make-believe. And this is for his partners in regard to us. Thus, that which they assign unto his partners in them reacheth not Allah. And that which they assign unto Allah goeth to their so-called partners. Evil is their ordinance. Thus have their so-called partners of Allah made the killing of their children to seem fair unto many of the idolaters, that they may ruin them and make their faith obscure for them. Had Allah willed it otherwise, they had not done so, so leave them alone with their devices. And they say, such cattle and crops are forbidden. No one is to eat of them save whom we will in their make-believe. Cattle whose backs are forbidden, cattle over which they mention not the name of Allah. All that is a lie against him. He will repay them for that which they invent. And they say, that which is in the bellies of such cattle is reserved for our males and is forbidden to our wives. But if it be born dead, then they all may be partakers thereof. He will reward them for their attribution of such ordinances unto him. Lo, he is wise, aware. They are losers who besottedly have slain their children without knowledge and have forbidden that which Allah bestowed upon them inventing a lie against Allah. They indeed have gone astray and are not guided. He it is who produceth gardens trellised and untrellised, and the date palm and crops of diverse flavor, and the olive and the pomegranate, like and unlike. Eat ye of the fruit thereof when it fruiteth, and pay the dew thereof upon the harvest day, and be not prodigal. Lo, Allah loveth not the prodigals. And of the cattle he produceth some for burdens, some for food. Eat of that which Allah hath bestowed upon you, and follow not the footsteps of the devil, for lo, he is an open foe to you. Eight pairs of the sheep twain and of the goats twain. Say, hath he forbidden the two males or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Expound to me the case with knowledge, if ye are truthful. And of the camels twain and of the oxen twain, say, hath he forbidden the two males or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Or were ye by to witness when Allah commanded you all this? Then who doth greater wrong than he who deviseth a lie concerning Allah, that he may lead mankind astray without knowledge? Lo, Allah guideth not wrongdoing folk. Say, I find not in that which is revealed unto me aught prohibited to an eater that he eat thereof, except it be carrion or blood poured forth, or swine flesh, for that verily is foul, or the abomination which was immolated to the name of other than Allah. But whoso is compelled thereto, neither craving nor transgressing, for him, lo, your Lord is forgiving, merciful." And to those who are Jews, we forbade every animal with claws. And of the oxen and the sheep forbade we unto them the fat thereof, save that upon the backs or the entrails, or that which is mixed with the bone. That we awarded them for their rebellion, and lo, we verily are truthful. So if they give the lie to thee, Muhammad, say, Your Lord is a Lord of all embracing mercy, but his wrath will never be withdrawn from guilty folk. They who are idolaters will say, Had Allah willed, we had not ascribed unto him partners, neither had our fathers, nor had we forbidden aught. Thus did those who were before them give the lie to Allah's messengers, till they tasted of the fear of us. Say, 
Have ye any knowledge that ye can adduce for us? Lo, ye follow naught but an opinion. Lo, ye do but guess. Say, for Allah's is the final argument. Had he willed, he could indeed have guided all of you. Say, come, bring your witnesses who can bear witness that Allah forbade all this. And if they bear witness, do not thou bear witness with them. Follow thou not the whims of those who deny our revelations, those who believe not in the hereafter, and deem others equal with their Lord. Say, come, I will recite unto you that which your Lord hath made a sacred duty for you, that ye ascribe nothing as partner unto him, and that ye do good to parents, and that ye slay not your children because of penury. We provide for you and for them, and that ye draw not nigh to lewd things, whether open or concealed, and that ye slay not the life which Allah hath made sacred, save in the course of justice. This he hath commanded you, in order that ye may discern. And approach not the wealth of the orphan, save with that which is better, till he reach maturity. Give full measure and full weight in justice. We task not any soul beyond its scope. And if ye give your word, do justice thereunto, even though it be against a kinsman, and fulfill the covenant of Allah. This he commandeth you, that haply ye may remember. And he commandeth you, saying, This is my straight path, so follow it. Follow not other ways, lest ye be parted from his way. This hath he ordained for you, that ye may ward off evil. Again, we gave the scripture unto Moses, complete for him who would do good, an explanation of all things, a guidance and a mercy, that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. And this is a blessed scripture which we have revealed, to follow it and ward off evil that ye may find mercy. Lest ye should say the scripture was revealed only to two sects before us, and we in sooth were unaware of what they read. Or lest ye should say, if the scripture had been revealed unto us, we surely had been better guided than are they. Now hath there come unto you a clear proof from your Lord, a guidance and a mercy. And who doth greater wrong than he who denieth the revelations of Allah, and turneth away from them? We award unto those who turn away from our revelations an evil doom because of their aversion. Wait they indeed for nothing less than that the angels should come unto them, or thy Lord should come, or there should come one of the portents from thy Lord. In the day when one of the portents from thy Lord cometh, its belief availeth not a soul which theretofore believed not, nor in its belief earned good by works. Say, Wait ye, lo, we too are waiting. As for those who sunder their religion and become schismatics, no concern at all hast thou with them. Their case will go to Allah. Who then will tell them what they used to do? Whoso bringeth a good deed will receive tenfold the like thereof, while whoso bringeth an ill deed will be awarded but the like thereof, and they will not be wronged. Say, Lo, as for me, my Lord hath guided me unto a straight path, a right religion, the community of Abraham, the upright, who was no idolater. Say, Lo, my worship and my sacrifice and my living and my dying are for Allah, Lord of the worlds. He hath no partner, this am I commanded, and I am first of those who surrender unto him. Say, Shall I seek another than Allah for Lord? when he is Lord of all things, each soul earneth only on its own account, nor doth any laden bear another's load. Then unto your Lord is your return, and he will tell you that wherein ye differed. He it is who hath placed you as viceroys of the earth, and hath exalted some of you in rank above others, that he may try you by the test of that which he hath given you. Lo, thy Lord is swift in prosecution, and lo, he is forgiving, merciful. In the name of Allah.
the beneficent, the merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Saad. It is a scripture that is revealed unto thee, Muhammad, so let there be no heaviness in thy heart therefrom, that thou mayest warn thereby, and it is a reminder unto believers, saying, Follow that which is sent down unto you from your Lord, and follow no protecting friends beside him. Little do ye recollect. How many a township have we destroyed, as arrayed by night, or while they slept at noon, our terror came unto them. No plea had they when our terror came unto them, save that they said, Lo, we were wrongdoers. Then verily we shall question those unto whom our message hath been sent, and verily we shall question the messengers. Then verily we shall narrate unto them the event with knowledge, for verily we were not absent when it came to pass. The weighing on that day is the true weighing, as for those whose scale is heavy, they are the successful. And as for those whose scale is light, those are they who lose their souls because they disbelieved our revelations. And we have given you, mankind, power in the earth, and appointed for you therein a livelihood. Little give ye thanks. And we created you, then fashioned you, then told the angels, Fall ye prostrate before Adam. And they fell prostrate, all save Iblis, who was not of those who make prostration. He said, What hindered thee that thou didst not fall prostrate when I bade thee? Iblis said, I am better than him. Thou createst me of fire, while him thou didst create of mud. He said, Then go down hence. It is not for thee to show pride here. So go forth, lo, thou art of those degraded. He said, Reprieve me till the day when they are raised from the dead. He said, Lo, thou art of those reprieved. He said, Now, because thou hast sent me astray, verily I shall lurk in ambush for them on thy right path. Then I shall come upon them from before them and from behind them and from their right hands and from their left hands, and thou wilt not find most of them beholden unto thee. He said, Go forth from hence degraded, banished. As for such of them as follow thee, surely I will fill hell with all of you. And unto man, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden, and eat from whence ye will, but come not nigh this tree, lest ye become wrongdoers. Then Satan whispered to them that he might manifest unto them that which was hidden from them of their shame. And he said, Your Lord forbade you from this tree, only lest ye should become angels or become of the immortals. And he swore unto them, saying, Lo, I am a sincere adviser unto you. Thus did he lead them on with guile. And when they tasted of the tree, their shame was manifest to them, and they began to hide by heaping on themselves some of the leaves of the garden. And their Lord called them, saying, Did I not forbid you from that tree, and tell you, Lo, Satan is an open enemy to you? They said, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If thou forgive us not, and have not mercy on us, surely we are of the lost. He said, Go down from hence, one of you a foe unto the other. There will be for you on earth a habitation and provision for a while. He said, There shall ye live, and there shall ye die, and thence shall ye be brought forth. O oh, children of Adam, we have revealed unto you raiment to conceal your shame, and splendid vesture, but the raiment of restraint from evil, that is best. This is of the revelations of Allah, that they may remember. O oh, children of Adam, let not Satan seduce you as he caused your first parents to go forth from the garden and tore off from them their robe of innocence, that he might manifest their shame to them. Lo, he seeth you, he and his tribe, from whence ye see him not. Lo, we have made the devils protecting friends for those who believe not. And when they do some lewdness, they say, We found our fathers doing it, and Allah hath enjoined it on us. Say, 
Allah verily enjoineth not lewdness. Tell ye concerning Allah that which ye know not. Say, My Lord enjoineth justice, and set your faces upright toward Him at every place of worship, and call upon Him, making religion pure for Him only. As He brought you into being, so return ye unto Him. A party hath he led aright, while error hath just hold over another party. For lo, they chose the devils for protecting friends instead of Allah, and deem that they are rightly guided. O children of Adam, look to your adornment at every place of worship, and eat and drink, but be not prodigal. Lo, he loveth not the prodigals. Say, who hath forbidden the adornment of Allah? which he hath brought forth for his bondmen, and the good things of his providing, say, such on the day of resurrection will be only for those who believed during the life of the world. Thus do we detail our revelations for people who have knowledge. Say, my Lord forbiddeth only indecencies, such of them as are apparent and such as are within, and sin and wrongful oppression, and that ye associate with Allah that for which no warrant hath been revealed, and that ye tell concerning Allah that which ye know not. And every nation hath its term, and when its term cometh, they cannot put it off an hour, nor yet advance it. O children of Adam, if messengers of your own come unto you who narrate unto you my revelations, then whosoever refraineth from evil and amendeth, there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. But they who deny our revelations and scorn them, such are rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein. Who doth greater wrong than he who inventeth a lie concerning Allah, or denieth our tokens? For such their appointed portion of the book of destiny reacheth them, till when our messengers come to gather them, they say, where now is that to which ye cried beside Allah? They say, they have departed from us, and they testify against themselves that they were disbelievers. He saith, enter into fire among nations of the jinn and humankind who passed away before you. Every time a nation entereth, it curseth its sister nation, till when they have all been made to follow one another thither, the last of them saith unto the first of them, our Lord, these led us astray to give them double torment of the fire. He saith, For each one there is double torment, but ye know not. And the first of them saith unto the last of them, Ye were no whit better than us, so taste the doom for what ye used to earn. Lo, they who deny our revelations and scorn them, for them the gates of heaven will not be opened, nor will they enter the garden until the camel goeth through the needle's eye. Thus do we requite the guilty. Theirs will be a bed of hell, and over them coverings of hell. Thus do we requite wrongdoers. But as for those who believe and do good works, we tax not any soul beyond its scope, such are rightful owners of the garden, they abide therein. And we remove whatever rancor may be in their hearts, rivers flow beneath them, and they say, The praise to Allah, who hath guided us to this. We could not truly have been led aright if Allah had not guided us. Verily, the messengers of our Lord did bring the truth, and it is cried unto them, This is the garden. Ye inherit it for what ye used to do. And the dwellers of the garden cry unto the dwellers of the fire, We have found that which our Lord promised us to be the truth. Have ye too found that which your Lord promised the truth? They say, Yea, verily. And a crier in between them crieth, The curse of Allah is on evil doers, who debar men from the path of Allah and would have it crooked, and who are disbelievers in the last day. Between them is a veil, and on the heights are men who know them all by their marks. And they call unto the dwellers of the garden, Peace be unto you. They enter it not, although they hope to enter. And 
when their eyes are turned toward the dwellers of the fire, they say, Our Lord, place us not with the wrongdoing folk. And the dwellers on the heights call unto men whom they know by their marks, saying, What did your multitude and that in which ye took your pride avail you? Are these they of whom ye swore that Allah would not show them mercy? Unto them it hath been said, Enter the garden. No fear shall come upon you, nor is it ye who will grieve. And the dwellers of the fire cry out unto the dwellers of the garden, Pour on us some water, or some of that wherewith Allah hath provided you. They say, Lo, Allah hath forbidden both to disbelievers. Who took their religion for a sport and pastime, and whom the life of the world beguiled. So this day we have forgotten them, even as they forgot the meeting of this day, and as they used to deny our tokens. Verily, we have brought them a scripture which we expound with knowledge, a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe. Await they aught, save the fulfillment thereof, on the day when the fulfillment thereof cometh, those who were before forgetful thereof will say, The messengers of our Lord did bring the truth. Have we any intercessors that they may intercede for us? Or can we be returned to life on earth, that we may act otherwise than we used to act? They have lost their souls, and that which they devised hath failed them. Lo, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then mounted he the throne. He covereth the night with the day, which is in haste to follow it, and hath made the sun and the moon and the stars subservient by his command. His verily is all creation and commandment. Blessed be Allah, the Lord of the worlds. O mankind, call upon your Lord humbly and in secret. Lo, he loveth not the transgressors. Work not confusion in the earth after the fair ordering thereof, and call on him in fear and hope. Lo, the mercy of Allah is nigh unto the good. And he it is who sendeth the winds as tidings heralding his mercy, till when they bear a cloud heavy with rain, we lead it to a dead land, and then cause water to descend thereon, and thereby bring forth fruits of every kind. Thus bring we forth the dead, haply ye may remember. As for the good land, its vegetation cometh forth by permission of its Lord, while as for that which is bad, only evil cometh forth from it. Thus do we recount the tokens for people who give thanks. We sent Noah of old unto his people, and he said, O my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him. Lo, I fear for you the retribution of an awful day. The chieftains of his people said, Lo, we see thee surely in plain error. He said, O my people, there is no error in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I convey unto you the messages of my Lord, and give good counsel unto you, and know from Allah that which ye know not. Marvel ye that there should come unto you a reminder from your Lord by means of a man among you, that he may warn you, and that ye may keep from evil, and that haply ye may find mercy. But they denied him, so we saved him and those with him in the ship, and we drowned those who denied our tokens. Lo, they were blind folk. And unto the tribe of Ard we sent their brother Hud, he said, O oh, my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him. Will ye not ward off evil? The chieftains of his people who were disbelieving said, Lo, we surely see thee in foolishness, and lo, we deem thee of the liars. He said, O oh, my people, there is no foolishness in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I convey unto you the messages of my Lord, and am for you a true adviser. Marvel ye that there should come unto you a reminder from your Lord by means of a man among you, that he may warn you. Remember how he made you viceroys after Noah's folk, 
and gave you growth of stature. Remember all the bounties of your Lord, that haply ye may be successful. They said, Hast come unto us that we should serve Allah alone, and forsake what our fathers worshipped? Then bring upon us that wherewith thou threatenest us, if thou art of the truthful. He said, Terror and wrath from your Lord have already fallen on you. Would ye wrangle with me over names which ye have named, ye and your fathers, for which no warrant from Allah hath been revealed? Then await the consequence. Lo, I also am of those awaiting it. And we saved him and those with him by mercy from us. And we cut the root of those who denied our revelations and were not believers. And to the tribe of Thamud we sent their brother Saleh. He said, O my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him. A wonder from your Lord hath come unto you. Lo, this is the camel of Allah, a token unto you. So let her feed in Allah's earth, and touch her not with hurt, lest painful torment seize you. And remember how he made you viceroys after Ard, and gave you station in the earth. Ye choose castles in the plains, and hew the mountains into dwellings. So remember all the bounties of Allah, and do no evil, making mischief in the earth. The chieftains of his people, who were scornful, said unto those whom they despised, unto such of them as believed, Know ye that Saleh is one sent from his Lord? They said, Lo, in that wherewith he hath been sent, we are believers. Those who were scornful said, Lo, in that which ye believe, we are disbelievers. So they hamstrung the she-camel, and they flouted the commandment of their Lord, and they said, O Saleh, bring upon us that thou threatenest, if thou art indeed of those sent from Allah. So the earthquake seized them, and morning found them prostrate in their dwelling place. And Saleh turned from them and said, O oh, my people, I delivered my Lord's message unto you and gave you good advice, but ye love not good advisers. And Lot, remember when he said unto his folk, Will ye commit abomination such as no creature ever did before you? Lo, ye come with lust unto men instead of women. Nay, but ye are wanton folk. And the answer of his people was only that they said one to another, Turn them out of your township. They are folk, forsooth, who keep pure. And we rescued him and his household, save his wife, who was of those who stayed behind. And we rained a rain upon them. See now the nature of the consequence for evil doers. And unto Midian we sent their brother Shoab. He said, O oh, my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him. Lo, a clear proof hath come unto you from your Lord. So give full measure and full weight, and wrong not mankind in their goods. And work not confusion in the earth, after the fair ordering thereof. That will be better for you if ye are believers. Lurk not on every road to threaten wayfarers, and to turn away from Allah's path him who believeth in him and to seek to make it crooked. And remember, when ye were but few, how he did multiply you, and see the nature of the consequence for the corruptors. And if there is a party of you which believeth in that wherewith I have been sent, and there is a party which believeth not, then have patience until Allah judge between us. He is the best of all who deal in judgment.